I'm so excited to be here. Today, I'm going to talk about why 60% of people fail the PMP exam on the first try. So here it is. Um, first, if we think about the PMP exam itself, you know that the exam is based off of the five process groups. However, when you look at the book, the PMBOK itself, it's structured within the 10 knowledge areas. So already you have a discrepancy between what's on the exam and what you're being taught and how you're being taught. So what happens is that when you start thinking or focusing in terms of the knowledge areas, if we take a look at integration management, you take a look at integration, you're, what you're learning is from left to right. And so you first develop the project charter, then the project management plan, then you actually start going into executing. However, the way you need to know it for the exam, right, isn't from left to right through all of the five process groups, but it's rather from top down. So what you really need to know is actually you're going to develop your project charter, then identify all of your stakeholders, then you move to the right and create from the first thing we do is we create our original, not original, but your first project management plan. So when you create that plan, then you go to create the rest of your plans. And once you do that, you have, you get a sign off from your key stakeholders and your sponsor and they say, this is great, sign off, then you move on to executing. So that's one of the biggest discrepancies uh, that people don't talk about is what you're taught through the PMBOK and these boot camps versus what you're really asked on the exam. The